Um, okay, so what are we doing here today, Drew? So today we're having a training. We have uh, Phyllis Sigman from Michigan Natural Features Inventory in here talking about aquatic invasive plants and how to identify and treat them. And right now we're outside um, learning how to do some surveys and kind of looking at some of these plants, one of them being flowering rush um, okay. that we have growing in the area. And you were telling me that this right here is the flowering rush? Correct, yeah, this is the flower of it. And then if you look down further, you can see the leaves of the plant down here. So it's these, and you, you'll notice the little twisted cues up on the top. Mm -hmm. That's one of the distinct features. So it's a very triangular stem um, that you can see, and then it, it kind of curls and has that twisty on the top. Okay, and then this, it grows pretty dense, I can see. Right? Correct, yeah, so all this, what you're looking at right here, this is all flowering rush here, goes back there, um, and then you can see other patches. So it's pretty much all the tall stuff out here by the water. And then it's um, down quite thick in uh, Lake Erie, Detroit River, um, Southeast Michigan. But this is the only site of flowering rush here in West Michigan that we know of. And part of what you're hoping to accomplish today is to help people identify this to prevent the spread here? Correct, yep. So we have, uh, we have a lot of volunteers, we have a lot of master naturalists, we have some staff from Ottawa County Parks and from the Ottawa Conservation District as well here. So we're trying to get people familiar with these plants so that um, when they are out and about, when they're hiking, when they're camping, when they're kayaking, they can find these plants and, and report them and, and be familiar enough with them. So.